The Golan Heights, a rocky plateau in southwestern Syria, has a political and strategic significance which belies its size. Israel occupied the Golan Heights from Syria in the closing stages of the 1968 Six-Day War. Most of the Syrian Arab inhabitants fled the area during the conflict. An armed solstice line was established and the region came under Israeli military control. Almost immediately, Israel began to settle the Golan. Syria tried to retake the Golan Heights during the 1973 Middle East War. Despite inflicting heavy losses on Israeli forces, the surprise assault was thwarted. Both countries had signed an armistice in 1974 and a UN observer force has been in place on the ceasefire line since 1974. Israel unilaterally annexed the Golan Heights in 1981. However, the move was not recognized internationally. Southern Syria and the capital Damascus, about 60 kilometers north, are clearly visible from the top of the heights, while Syrian artillery regularly shelled the whole of northern Israel from 1948 to 1967, when Syria controlled the heights. The heights gave Israel an excellent vantage point for monitoring Syrian movements. The topography provided a natural buffer against any military thrust from Syria. The area is also a key source of water for an arid region. Rainwater from the Golan's catchment feeds into the Jordan River. The area provides a third of Israel's water supply. The land is fertile, with the volcanic soil being used to cultivate vineyards and orchards and to raise cattle. The Golan is also home to Israel's only ski resort. Indirect talks between Israel and Syria resumed in 2008, but were suspended following the resignation of Israeli Prime Minister Ehud Olmert over a corruption inquiry. The Israeli government under Benjamin Netanyahu, elected in February 2009, indicated that it was determined to take a tougher line over the Golan. But in June 2009, Syrian officials said that there was no partner for talks on the Israeli side. Syria's civil war in 2011 also played a major role in putting new talks to rest under then-President Barack Obama, who promised that the issue would be prioritized under his foreign policy objectives. Syrian fighting reached the Golan ceasefire lines in 2013, when Israel returned fire after shells landed in Golan. Israeli and Syrian army troops exchanged fire across their lines in May. U.S. President Donald Trump said on March 21st that it was time to recognize Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights that Israel seized from Syria in 1967, marking a dramatic shift in the U.S. policy and giving a boost to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in the middle of his re-election campaign. So this was a long time in the making. It should have taken place many decades ago. Later on, Trump signed a decree on March 25th at a meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, saying that the United States recognizes Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights, territory that Israel seized from Syria in the 1967 Middle East War. The decree formalized Trump's statement on March 21st, saying that it was time for the United States to fully recognize Israeli sovereignty over the Golan. Trump's declaration is the latest U.S. step to fuel anger in the region, both in states that are hostile to Israel and others that have relations with it and are allied to the United States. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan criticized U.S. President Donald Trump's statement, in which he said it was time to recognize Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. Böyle hassas bir meselede sessiz kalması, emri vakilere boyun eğmesi düşünülemez. Golan tepelerinin işgalinin meşrulaştırılmasına asla izin vermeyiz, veremeyiz. Syrians living on the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights have reacted with dismay to U.S. President Donald Trump's support for Israeli sovereignty over the mountainous plateau. أستغرب بهذا الرئيس ترامب الذي يعتبر نفسه رئيس لا أعلم ماذا يقول له نتنياهو فهو ينفذ لا أستطيع أن أفهم ذلك يعني 
طالما انه قرار مجلس الامن رقم 497 يعتبر بان الجولان باطل ولاغي خلينا نظم الجولان فلماذا كل هذه المساعي؟ وهذه الام الجولانيه التي توفت اليوم تؤكد على نضال اهل الجولان ضد هذا المحتل. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu welcomed Trump's recognition of Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. Against Israel. Mr. President, over the years, Israel has been blessed to have many friends who sat in the Oval Office. But Israel has never had a better friend than you. Many commemorators see Trump's declaration as a timely boost for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, ahead of Israeli elections scheduled for April 9th, in which he has been dogged by corruption allegations.